The notion in our book is that um, in many circumstances, electromagnetic waves or waves in general travel along well-defined paths called rays. And this is very familiar from everyday life. Uh, it's how we navigate the world. So here's an example. We start with the, uh, you know, with this winter scene, the sun's in the upper left. There's a, an imaginary little ray coming out of the sun. There are rays going out in all directions. We only indicate one uh, that's coming to Earth. So the ray, incoming ray, comes in. It strikes this person standing um, on the ground there. The, the ray is now scatter uh, in a very, what's called diffuse pattern. So one incoming ray scatters into a whole collection of outgoing rays. They take on the color of the surface they scattered off of. Uh, they're gonna be going in all different directions. And there's one particular ray uh, that comes directly from that person toward our eye. And then there are a bunch of others that scatter out and you can see reflections of this person above him. A more um, special kind of circumstance is where the, an incoming ray encounters a smooth surface and undergoes mirror reflection. So you have an incoming ray. Now it's going to scatter diffusely off the ground, lots of outgoing rays. And now you have a ray that scatters off the uh, mirrored surface there at the top. Now in fact there are a lot of them a lot of those outgoing rays scattered off of that surface too, but only one of them comes to your eye. Okay, and so that's why you, you see a well-defined uh, set of inverted images here of the, for example, this person standing in the ground. He appears to be uh, reflected in the, uh, in the roof there. And that's because of this fact that uh, for every single incoming ray to the surface, there's a well-defined outgoing ray. Now in a fusion machine, a lot more can happen. You can have reflection at the, at the edge, so rays can reflect at the edge of the, um, of the fusion machine itself. But internally, they can also undergo what's called mode conversion. Uh, and in mode conversion, what happens is that one incoming wave type converts to another wave type. And so what our book provides is the first detailed uh, explication of the uh, theory that we developed that allows you to deal with this phenomena called mode conversion in multiple dimensions using ray tracing. This box is meant to represent the interior of a fusion machine, um, but not only the spatial uh, part of the machine, but also um, a more abstract space called ray phase space. These um, incoming rays are going to converge. They go through what's called a caustic, and then they convert. Okay, so you can see the, the color change to um, a new set of rays. And then there's a second conversion, and that's why we have the three different colors there. The dots indicate the um, estimated points in what's called the ray phase space, where these waves interconvert from one to another. So this is the first ray tracing code that can deal with this phenomenon. Why did I write this book? Well, uh, we developed a set of techniques that allow us to follow uh, electromagnetic waves in fusion plasmas uh, with the intent of learning how to use these waves to heat the plasma to thermonuclear conditions. The field is mathematically very beautiful. Um, so there's an aesthetic appeal to it. Physicists believe the world you know, you, know, you know, it appears to be very messy and complicated, that underlying that there's beauty. And that's what physicists are interested in doing, is uncovering that beauty.